Baruchim Abayim, welcome everyone. Let's learn Kedusha Slevi, Parsha Snoach. Uh, last week when we learned Bereshis, it was the yard site of the Kedusha Slevi. And uh, now, uh, so it's a week later, so I guess it will be the end of the Shiva. There was an interesting thing, so the Kedusha Slevi, was Nifter the day after Isru Chag, right? And Sadiqim say, the story goes, was that, you know, the British Lelem wanted to take him right after Yom Kippur, because the Gemara says it's, it's a Simen Yofen. It's a good sign for someone to pass away right after Yom Kippur, because it shows that their sins were forgiven. And he begged the British Lerlum that he should be able to take the Lulav and Esrug, uh, because it was such a special mitzvah to him. And so that's why he was allowed to live through Sukkot. And also, if he would have passed away at that time, there would have been no Shiva, there would have been no Shloishim even. My Zayda was, was Taka, was Nifter right after him, Kippur. And, uh, that was a deer, I did not hit it. But I hope I didn't mess up. My tires are already <laughs> need. I really need tires. But uh, t- tomorrow's payday, so I'm uh, really going paycheck to paycheck. Really, very tough right now. Thanks to uh, you know who, who shall not be mentioned, right? Because I don't want to get any trouble. But anyway, let's uh, let's learn. Let's forget about Elam Azem and. Uh, so like I said, my Zayda was Nifter, Erev Sukkis. So that means that my mother and her brothers, they sat Shiva for five minutes, and, and my Baba, they sat Shiva for a few minutes, and then the Shiva was done, comes Yantiv, and then, and then because Shmini and Sarah's regal in the Yatsma, then that cancels the Shloishim. So there was no Shiva, no Shloishim. All right. Eila told us Noyach, these are the generations of Noah, Genesis chapter one, uh, chapter six. I'm sorry, verse nine. Near, it seems like this. In the there are two types of saints who serve the Creator. Tzadik echad yesh oivet abari baruchu islavus gadol. There's one type of saint who serves God with a tremendous enthusiasm, ulaatzmai, but he's he really only cares about himself. He doesn't bring the wicked people close to God that they should also serve the Creator. Baruch may be blessed. He's by himself. He's a hermit serving God on his own. There's another type of saint who serves God in a way that he encourages the wicked to repent, so they should also serve the Creator. Like Abraham, Shahaya, Megayar, Gerim, who, who, was, who went and proselytized and, and made converts. Visa Mekisvi Arizal is cited in the writings of Rabbi Isaac Gloria. This is why Noah was punished. Because <coughs> he did not rebuke the wicked people in his generation. And therefore, he had to be reincarnated as Moses. And Moses rectified this in the following transmigration. That he was constantly rebuking the Israelites, all of Israel. This is what our sages said. Gemara Kedusha Memon Ben Aleph. That's 40a. Toiv l'shamayim and toiv l'vrias. That there's such a thing as a person who is good for heaven, but also good for the creatures, for creation. Because the type of saint who serves the Lord. And draws close the wicked. Gam kimlius avde Hashem that they should also be servants of the Lord. Nikra toiv l'shemayim 
He's called, he's good for heaven. Because he himself serves God. He's also good for the creatures, for creation. Because he brings people close to serve the God, to serve the Lord. But Noah did not go out and proselytize. He did not do missionary work to bring people to serve the Lord. As we said above, Yedua Masha'amr Chazal, and it's known what our sages said in Sanhedrin New Testament Bays, it's 19b, called Lamed bin Chaber Torah Kilu Yolder. If someone teaches his fellows Sad Torah, it's as if he gave birth to him. Like it says in next week's Parsha, by Abraham, the souls that he made in Haran. And that's Genesis chapter 12, verse 5. Therefore, we see that Abraham was proselytized, he made converts. He made many, many converts. By Abraham, is only mentioned his, his offspring. Ela told him, never says Ela told him Sabra. We should never eat till Nayak, Mishum Shalehaila told us. Rak Masha Omar Kosum. Meaning, it says these are the generations of Noah, these are the offspring of Noah, because those are the only offspring he had, were his, his biological children. So to Ela told us Yitzchak, Isaac also, he was not known as a care of worker, as a missionary. So he also did it. Um, so all he had were Jacob and Esau. But uh, I hope there's not a cop behind me. He's coming up right behind me. I'll let him pass. It's a passing area here. I guess it's not a cop. So anyway, Rakmash Omar Kosvier Lub Noyach Shloy Shabonim is Shemus Hamid in his Chamas Yafis. Noah had those three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Leoisa Kanal, he didn't have any other children, because he didn't have any disciples. So Perush of Kosvier Lub Kulus Noyach Noyach. He should say, Kamo Haibad Arasa. That's also the explanation of what it means. These are the offspring of Noah, Noah. He was a righteous man perfect that he was in his generations. And Noah gave birth. He begot. Rak, Ela told us Noah. It's only these are the offspring of Noah. That Noah gave, begot those three sons. The reason is, is Noah walked with God. Because Noah only walked with God and he did not walk with mankind. Because Noah all by himself served the blessed Creator. But he did not walk with the creatures to bring them close to be the servants of the blessed Creator. So that's why I went back and said that Noah only had these three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And that's why it makes sense to say these are the offspring of Noah. Furthermore, that's what it means that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. I didn't have to say that Noah had grace in the eyes of the Lord. If he had now, as he shop here, but then according to what we said above, it makes sense. Because Noah So it means that all the people in his generation were very immoral. And Noah took that grace, that charm, that beauty, and lifted it up. To the holiness, 
Ki Dvar Mabal Aviyu Oisei Chinu Klipa The rest of the people of that generation brought that charm and beauty into impurity, into super, superficiality, into the, the shell, the, the side of evil. But Noah did not rebuke them. So that's the meaning of the man that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found grace with the Lord. Meaning, when it says that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord, it's, it doesn't only mean that in the eyes of the Lord he had this grace, but rather Noah found grace in things that were in the eyes of the Lord. Meaning that Noah found that grace in holy things, whereas his contemporaries only found that grace in immorality and superficiality and debauchery. So, that meaning when he looked at beautiful things in the world, he lifted it up to holiness. However, it, only, it means the other way too. He only lifted up in the eyes of the Lord. But not in the eyes of the creatures. Uh, he did not lift up that grace for anything holy, he, 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 he found grace in the eyes of God, but not in the eyes of man, and he was not able to show um, to show other people that grace. All right. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. We'll see you later.